I'm Gilad Hickson, a guitar player from Israel, live in Brooklyn for the last almost 20 years, and uh, I'm a music addict. The biggest difference between Farstar and the other record that I've made is that it's, it's um, not trying to be a, a band in a studio kind of record, it's not trying to be acoustic. It's uh, infinite in the sonic possibilities because I had uh, unlimited amount of time to work on it and tweak things and then add things and take things out. So um, all my records up to that point, they might have had some post production, but um, then they never, they were never like a fully studio um, based kind of like. I mean, when I say studio, I mean like production based records. They're more about trying to capture the way we play live. Um, but in this one, I call it Far Star actually because I kind of um, I started getting to the habit when I whenever I approached the computer to kind of like work on a track, I would kind of like close my eyes and just try to imagine a sound and not, not limit myself to like a sound that I can make on the guitar or that somebody could record for me and, and send me, but like any sound is possible. And then certain, either search for it in the library or to try to find a way to do it on the guitar or try to find a a sample that kind of matches it, gets close to it. So Far Star was that place that I would travel to when I close my eyes and, and, and try to try to think of the sound. Many times the the process of producing something, you kind of you forget a little bit what that sound was because you go through a million samples or like you know you, you try different things. But it's okay because that's a part of the organic um, process of imagining, you know, imagination is like it bounces off of the walls of reality. Also, this is the first thing that I ever professionally mixed. Uh, I, I never mixed a record before. Uh, I was always into sound and I, you know, always was into uh, editing, but I, I never, like I didn't editing myself, but I, this is the first time that I tried to actually make it sound good. In a way, you know, as, 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 as bad uh, as COVID was, of course, for many, many things. Um, it was the, a rare opportunity for me to, to learn a new skill like that and go all the way in. You know, this ties to the, to the Odyssey world. One thing that I really love is the feeling that I can um, play to a track but feel like I'm still in the same room that I'm playing in. And, uh, you know, this room, I know it so well, and even the other rooms that it record, was recorded in, like, I, I know them well. So something, as soon as you put headphones that are, like, um, very isolating, um, something changes about the feeling of, of, of the room and the instrument. So um, I, for the most part, I've, I used the LCD once for, for this record, the Odyssey. And um, those are open back. So, um, you know, being able to hear the instrument from the room and hear the rest of the track on the computer kind of gives you that immersive feeling that you get when you play with a band, you know, kind of gives you that... Um, more natural um, thing that I'm way more used to doing than being in the studio. You know, I, re I recorded a lot, but like whenever I go to record, it's like, how can I get the closest to the experience of how fun it is to play with people in the room? And I, I feel like that's that 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 was the most um, awesome thing. And honestly, those 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 um, those are my go-to. I have a couple other Odyssey headphones, but those are my go-to when I go to a studio and record and stuff. They just make it so much easier because uh, I know how the sound is in the room, and um, I know I also know the this one. I know the the headphones really well, so I can kind of if something sounds wrong, like I know that it's wrong. Like I I, rec I recognize the, the sonic quality. Thank mm -hmm. you.